Hey everyone, and welcome to the Baked Alaskan. <clears throat> well, MS Monday. We all know the drill now. I, um, didn't have a topic for this Monday until I checked the mail. And I received a piece of government mail and it's um my driver's license renewal form normally that would be no big deal but the fact is I sold my car because I couldn't afford to keep it and now I have vision problems that are pretty hampering and the seizure thing. And I was like, it's really hard to get a, a license in Canada. Like, it's, you have to take classes and do this and do that. And the testing is a lot more stringent than it is in, well, the states that I've taken it in. It would be Oregon and Alaska. And, um, I didn't know if I wanted to go through that again, like, to do all the testing and feel dumb if I got something wrong, or, you know, um, if I gave up my license. Well, now the real possibility is that I'm not getting it back. The real possibility is I have to, I have to be real here and acknowledge that I think my time driving is over, and um, that devastates me. I was in tears yesterday after I opened this, because you think, just do it, just get the license, right, just renew it, you can keep it, whatever. But the problem is, it costs about $130 to renew my license. $130 is life or death for us. That's groceries. That's um, phone bills. That's everything. Um, so there's the money thing. And then there's this. Has the physician ever advised you that you suffer from any of the following medical conditions? Heart disease, stroke, diabetes, requiring insulin, epilepsy, seizure disorder, loss of consciousness or awareness or any other medical condition or physical disability that may affect your safe operation of motor vehicles if yes stay conditioned that right there I'm done you guys excuse me um it's over they asked me point blank and my doctor told me point blank that I probably have a seizure disorder. So, I can't lie. I'm not like that. And it's people's safety, you know. It's not worth risking somebody's life if I have a seizure while I'm driving, you know. Or risking my life. What if I'm driving down the 401 and I have a seizure and my car's full of people that I love, you know. It's, I, I've, had a, I've had a few days to just accept it, and uh, this response is not as genuine as it would be had you seen me yesterday, or the day before. Um, I just... I just feel like I, I lost something huge, you know? And I, I don't know how to cope with it. I, um, I, I'm, I'm losing everything, and I'm not getting anything in return from MS besides heartache and headache and bad side effects. <laughs> um, and it's frustrating, you know, like, I just, uh,
I'm losing so much and there's nothing really to say. I guess this is my cry for help to help understand this. This is my I don't know what it is. This is my MS Monday though. And this is what MS has taken from me today. It may not sound like much and you may think, oh, people can drive you places, you don't have to worry about traffic, you know, you don't have to pay for insurance, like all this other crap that they tell you to make themselves feel better that they can drive and they can get where they need to go in five minutes versus three hours on a bus, you know. Um, it's a horrible inconvenience and when you've lived, like I've lived with a car since I was 14 years old because I was taking care of my mom driving her places because she had seizures it seems like it's all come full circle and it's fucking ridiculous You know, I recorded a video yesterday, which I'm probably not going to post until tomorrow now. And it's a vlog. And it talks about a lot of stuff like this. I'm feeling a lot of loss lately, you guys. I'm feeling very lonely in my illness. And as much as people try to understand, and my wife is super understanding, there's no amount of understanding from somebody who's not going through the same thing that I'm going through. Um, it's just, you can't really measure that kind of thing unless you've been there. And I know so many of you have been here before, and I know so many of you have lost other things that seem more important than a license or a car, uh, or, or in my case, this is my freedom. I mean, I loathe having to ask people for rides. I loathe it. I loathe having to ask people for help getting groceries or whatever and then it's much more disappointing when I don't get help and I ask for it and you know like I didn't really want the help but now I'm not getting the help and now I'm kind of annoyed and that's not a good place to be either hey Remy what are you doing please don't step on that please don't step on that So, I'm sorry I don't have much practical advice for everybody this week. Uh, I'm trying my best to work through my own things. And uh, I'm reaching out to all of you to maybe try and help me through this too. So, I hope everybody's having a better week. It's just starting. What a jerk. You're a jerk. I'd just like to thank you all for watching today. And I am hoping that your week is starting well. And you're smiling. Because it's too early to be frowning. It's just Monday. I mean, I know it sucks having to go there. but And I know it's easy for me to say because I don't. But, I am, and it is, so here we are. Smile everybody, take care of yourselves out there, be well.